This is one of the samskaras or religious sacraments performed during early childhood, signifying the initiation into the life of Brahmacharya or studentship. It facilitates an individual's mental and psychological growth. It is typically performed between the ages of 8 and 16. Brahmopadesham or Upanayanam is considered to be a process of rebirth and the child who is born undergoing the ceremony is a Bija or twice born. From this day onward, the child begins his student life and makes a pledge to lead a disciplined life of study and stay focused. It is the starting of a spiritual education. The word Upanayanam means bringing near, derived from the Sanskrit words Upa meaning closer and Ayanam meaning eyes. Bringing near a precept guru initiates the boy, giving him the sacred thread. That's me. After studying the Vedas, the child is supposed to lead a lifestyle as prescribed in these teachings. And you listen to Sri Ram. Yes. In essence, doing everything in a selfless manner. I heard. The ceremony itself is quite elaborate and profound. An auspicious time is chosen based on the planetary configuration of both the father and the child's time of birth. Highlights. The Upanayanam ceremony consists of several small ceremonies. The important ones are as follows. One, receiving the sacred third, or Yadmiyopalitam. Two, receiving the sacred Gaitri Mantram, or Brahmopadesham. The oldest Vedic mantra is a prayer asking for the emotional maturity and wisdom by praying to the sun, the light of knowledge, source and sustainer of all life. Three, taking the oath of Brahmacharya. Four, preparation for the Brahmacharya studentship. One is Anukna, requesting permission from the Lord, then elders and guests who are gathered to perform the ceremony. Two, Ganesha Puja, Vishwaksena Puja, for us. Blessings from Vishwaksena are sought to complete the Upanayam ceremony and to successfully without obstacles. Vishwaksena is the removal of obstacles. Also, Sena means the general of Bhagavan's armies. Three is Punyahavachana which is a purifying ceremony for the boy. In this ceremony, the god of war, Varanat, is invoked in the Kalasana 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 Kalasana. Four, Ankurakra, offering of grains to the god. Five different grains are offered to god by five married women and five clay pots. Symbolism is to receive blessings for the five big devatas. This is what we did just now. Brahma is the creator of the center. Indra, for strength in the east. Yama, to avoid accidents and death in the south. Varanat, for water in the west. Soma, the god of plant life and food in the north. Upon completion of this ceremony, the main ceremony will have been initiated according to the Shastras. 5. Pratishadavandha. A yellow thread is tied on the boy's right wrist to protect him from evil during the ceremony. 6. Nandi. For obtaining blessings from the child's ancestors. We did that. 7. Sankalpa. The father of the boy declares that the Pranayana ceremony will be performed for the son at the day of Nakshatra, etc., according to the Indian calendar. That's what we're doing. Vaishnavam Kalupapaham Iti Nama Chagam Divyam Vaishnavam